And Tony, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here today. We are very pleased to be able to sponsor this luncheon. And as Tony said, we've done it for a few years now. Our partnership with NFIB is one of our most important uh, because NFIB is one of the most important organizations in this state, serving the needs and the interests of the business community. Um, just a few quick words about who Pinnacle is and some of the things that we are working on to benefit businesses around the state of Colorado. First of all, we are Colorado's largest workers' compensation carrier. A lot of people are a little bit confused about exactly what kind of a company they are because they think that we are, in fact, part of Colorado state government. It's an understandable mis misperception because there was a time 100 years ago when we were when Colorado first established the workers' comp system in 1915, it was housed within state government, and it stayed that way until 1991, when it was spun off into what I like to think of the platypus that we are today, uh, because we're sort of governmental and we're sort of private. We're what they call a political subdivision of the state. That has a couple of important meanings for those of you who are policyholders in this room because Pinnacle is subject to a statute specific to us. There is literally a whole section in the Colorado Revised Statutes that says Pinnacle Assurance, and it's all about what we can and cannot do. And importantly, for you as businesses, some, some things in that statute say that Pinnacle may only offer workers' compensation coverage. So those of you who would like to get your business coverage, all your business coverage in one place, that's the reason um, if you have Pinnacle for work comp, you got to use somebody else for your other stuff. Statute also says we may only operate in Colorado. So those of you who have operations in other states, that's why you have to go to another carrier when you go to those other states. But it's not all bad news in that statute. There's something very good in there that was added um, in the early 2000s that says the Pinnacle shall operate as a mutual insurance company. So what that means for those of you who are policyholders is that you are, for all intents and purposes, our shareholders. And that's why you either receive or will be receiving in the next couple of days uh, a dividend check from us. This is the fourth year in a row that we have been in a position to give money back to our policyholders in the form of general dividends. And we're able to do that when you are manage your risk and the costs associated with that, you know, through safety programs and the like. And when we do a good job of being fiduciaries of your policyholder dollars and have that money in hand. So um, we released $70 million in general dividends to businesses across Colorado over the last week. Um, so um, something else I want to share with you very quickly is our commitment to innovating on behalf of you, the businesses of Colorado, and your employees. Because we realize it isn't all just about the money, it's also about how do we make this system work better for you, as the people who are writing the checks, and your employees in the unhappy event that they get injured on the job. And we are applying principles of what they call human-centered design to reinvent everything that we do in our company, the way we interact with our policyholders, with our agents, with our injured workers, with our medical providers. A couple of examples of that. A couple of years ago, we sat down with our very smallest businesses, folks who have maybe eight or 10 employees or fewer, and we watched the process we were making them go through in order to buy a policy from us. Should be pretty easy for a super small business like that, right? In general, they're not terribly risky. But the hoops we were making them jump through and the amount of time it was taking them to get a quote, much less actually finalize the policy, was taking days, sometimes even weeks. So we set up a subsidiary that we call Cake Insure that is an online digital platform to make that process of getting the quote and buying the policy much easier. We've taken that days or weeks long process down to less than five minutes for our very smallest customers who buy from us direct. We're in the process now of adapting that same technology for our agents and the businesses that they serve. We're taking that out. We're making things easier for our injured workers as well, streamlining the process of reimbursing the mileage they incur on their way to and from medical appointments uh, because we want to make sure that um, the system works for them as well as for all of you. 
So I, in closing, I just want to thank Tony again for the partnership. You all are so fortunate to have somebody like this at the helm of this organization who is one of the most respected and effective business advocates at the state capitol. And it really is a great honor for us to be able to work with him and this organization. So thank you again, and I hope your day at the capitol is going great.